Greetings, Eric Backer, naturopath from New Zealand. Thanks for checking out my video. I'm the author of a book called Candida Crusher. We're going to keep going on with the Citrobacter fungi series. So we're going to talk about best treatment for Citrobacter. So this is a bacterial problem. And it, like many bacteria, there are hundreds of species in your gut, and this one can become really imbalanced and, and create an overgrowth. Now, Citrobacter is often, uh, by default, very resistant to different types of antibiotics. You know, whether you're taking cephalosporin or fluoroquinone, you know, something like Cipro, ciprofloxacillin. Uh, many different types of antibiotic drugs are given to patients if they come back with a positive for a bacterial infection like Cipro. Cipro is quite smart. Uh, uh, um, Citro. Citrobacter is quite smart. Like many bacteria, it actually gets smarter and smarter and smarter with, with many successive generations, particularly uh, if you take pharmaceutical antibiotics to try and counter this. So some little known advice um, that people aren't given with antibiotics is never keep taking drugs, drugs, drugs concurrently for the same infection. It's dumb, 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 dumb. Why the hell would you do that? Why would you keep taking another drug? Doctors will say, well, let's try this one. Well, let's try that one. What the hell are you doing trying all these different things for? All you're doing is just digging a deeper hole for yourself to fall into that you'll never climb out eventually. I spent too much time in my practice trying to fix up the mess created by uh, let's give this a try kind of practitioners, you know. So be very careful. The first shot is the best shot. If you found you've got an infection of a bacterial overgrowth, be very careful the first time you do a treatment. Consider carefully. Maybe you should take a natural treatment before you consider a pharmaceutical intervention, okay? Because it's a lot easier to ramp things up than it is to ramp things down. Once you've done a lot of uh, collateral damage, you know, um, uh, you've busted up a lot of beneficial bacteria, you've created a, a drug-resistant form of, of, of bacteria, what the heck are you going to try and do to really, you know, clean up this mess, you know? So... So my opinion, not that I want to blow my own trumpet, check out Canzita Remove. This is a product I designed, which is proving to be highly successful for the eradication of lots of different types of bacteria. I'm finding it excellent also for resistant types of, of bacteria like Citrobacter. Now, why is that so? Well, because it's a very compound product. It contains many different types of antimicrobials in it. So some people will say, Oil of oregano is the best, or tannel bit is the best, or plant tannins are the best, or grapefruit seed extract is the best. So what I did, I spent quite a lot of years doing stool uh, testing on patients, and I've really worked out that many patients come back with bacteria or overgrowths like Citrobacter frondi, and I've worked out with the stool panels, uh, we can have a look at the back of the stool test, and we can actually see the susceptibility panel we can see what Citrobacter is very, uh, you know, uh, sensitive to. And that was a big part of how I created my product. I was looking at thousands of stool tests over a period of a long period of time and working out the best combination of antimicrobials to counter this. And the results are certainly coming back. <clears throat> Excuse me, we're getting really good feedback from many, many, many people now with Citrobacter infection that we're slowly turning, you know, these infections back to normal. So be careful what you take. Even if you just take one antimicrobial like oil of oregano, you may develop a resistance against one particular type of thing. So just be careful not to routinely take the same natural product or pharmaceutical especially again and again and again and again. It's not a good idea. All right. When you take a very good antimicrobial and you've got a big citrobacter problem, you'll find initially a big counter response of the body. So this can be uh, described by some people as die-off. So a good product like Kenzina Remove will create a strong effect to counter bacteria like Citrobacter. And that could include for up to a week uh, initial discomfort, but that will very quickly disappear. And you'll notice a big change in uh, the comfort of the digestive system. So rule number one, think careful, uh, think twice or uh, carefully about, do you need to take that pharmaceutical drug for a citrobacter problem. I mean, number two, why would you take the same medication time and again or keep changing it, you know, to different types of medications, whether it's pharmaceutical or natural, to get the effect you're looking for? And number three, your first shot is your best shot. So when you've got a problem, take something good straight up front, low dose to get used to it, all right, and to test, you know, what your reactions are, ramp it up, and then high dose. 
take a sustained high push for several weeks, maybe three, four weeks, and then back off. You know, and at the same time, you can take a good uh, digestive enzyme, probiotic product, something like Kenzita Restore, for example, can be taken concurrently with Remove, or can be used at the tail end to finish things up and to tidy up the gut. All right, and of course, retest. So if you're positive for Citrobacter, check it out again to make sure that you've nailed this thing. Check out my other videos. I'm going to talk a bit about diet uh, and Citrobacter coming up now. Thanks for tuning in.